For years, astronomers have suspected a hidden ninth planet, Planet Nine, shaping the orbits of distant solar system objects, but no direct evidence has emerged. Now a new study from Rice University and the Planetary Science Institute may change that. Using thousands of simulations, researchers found that in systems like ours, there's up to a 40% chance a massive planet could have been pushed to a stable, distant orbit just like the one predicted for Planet Nine. The research team wanted to test a long-standing question. Could wide-orbit planets like Planet Nine form as a natural outcome of planetary evolution? To answer that, they ran detailed simulations of thousands of planetary systems, some resembling ours, others featuring different arrangements like binary stars or multiple ice giants. These systems were simulated in the context of star clusters, mimicking the environment where most stars and their planets form. A key mechanism emerged. During the early chaotic growth of gas giants, planets frequently interacted gravitationally, leading some to be flung outward. In certain cases, those ejected planets didn't escape the system entirely. Instead, they were pulled into a stable, wide orbit thanks to the gravitational influence of nearby stars passing by during the system's infancy. Among systems with features similar to our own, such as high stellar metallicity and the presence of large gas giants, about 40% of the simulations produced a wide orbit planet that remained gravitationally bound at extreme distances. Slightly curious, building interest. The type of orbit this process creates is consistent with the hypothesized orbit of Planet Nine several hundred astronomical units away with a long, eccentric path around the Sun. This finding is important because it shows that such planets don't require exotic formation scenarios or massive disks extending far from the star. They can form closer in and later migrate outward through natural dynamics. Lead author Andre Isidoro described the process as cosmic pinball a chaotic early dance among planets where some are launched outward and a few are caught in a distant gravitational net. One of the enduring puzzles in planetary science is the existence of super-Earths in other star systems. These planets, larger than Earth, smaller than Neptune, are common in exoplanet surveys Yet our solar system has none. Planet Nine, if it exists, would fall into this mass range and could resolve this inconsistency by filling the structural gap in our planetary lineup. Another mystery involves trans-Neptunian objects. Some of them, like Sedna, have elongated and clustered orbits that suggest they are under the gravitational influence of something massive and far away. The idea of Planet Nine was originally proposed to explain these orbital anomalies. The new simulations support the possibility that such a planet could naturally end up in a position to exert that influence. Moreover, these results reshape how we think about the outer edges of planetary systems. Traditional models of planet formation focus on protoplanetary disks that usually span up to about 100 AU Forming planets beyond that range has always been difficult to explain with in-place formation models. By introducing a two-step process, gravitational scattering and stabilization through stellar flybys, this research provides a viable alternative. It accounts not only for Planet Nine-like objects, but also for wide-orbit exoplanets that have been observed in other systems. It also creates a framework to understand rogue planets planets that roam the galaxy unbound by any star. The study found that most planets ejected in these early interactions do not remain in orbit. Instead, they are cast out into interstellar space. That helps explain the growing number of free-floating planets detected through gravitational microlensing and infrared surveys. Planet Nine becomes less of an outlier and more of a representative product of how planetary systems evolve in crowded stellar nurseries.
Planet 9 remains undetected, largely due to its extreme distance and faintness. Orbiting hundreds of astronomical units from the Sun, it receives minimal sunlight and reflects very little, making it exceptionally difficult to spot. Its slow movement, shifting only slightly over decades, further complicates detection, as traditional surveys struggle to distinguish it from background stars. Previous attempts, including those using data from WISE and PAN stars, have ruled out some regions of the sky, but large gaps remain. The region where Planet 9 is most likely to be located is vast, and searching it thoroughly requires both time and precision. This is where the Vera C. Rubin Observatory plays a critical role. Set to begin operations soon, Rubin is designed to repeatedly scan wide areas of the sky and detect faint, moving objects over time. Its sensitivity and coverage make it the most promising tool yet for detecting a distant, slow-moving planet. If Planet 9 exists, and falls within the expected brightness and distance ranges, Rubin could detect it within the next few years. If not, it will help narrow the search and refine the parameters further. Beyond Planet 9, the findings of this study suggest ways to better understand other planetary systems. For example, stars with high metallicity and known gas giants may be more likely to host wide orbit planets. That gives astronomers a new criterion for prioritizing exoplanet studies. Also prompts a reassessment of solar system evolution models. Rather than imagining a relatively smooth outward migration of Uranus and Neptune, the simulations support a more chaotic period involving gravitational encounters, close planetary interactions, and external stellar influences. For now, the study doesn't claim to have discovered Planet 9 but it gives us a better understanding of the conditions that could have created it. Planet 9 is still unconfirmed, but new simulations show it could naturally form in systems like ours. With a 40% probability and growing support from orbital clues and upcoming tools like the Rubin Observatory, the theory is gaining ground. Even if it remains unseen, the research reveals our solar system may be more dynamic and more typical than previously believed.